Hey guys, Jno Zero. Um, all right, we're gonna start. Uh, gonna start doing some work on uh, improving my solar panels uh, and our solar setup system that we got. Uh, so what we're gonna do is instead of putting them up on the roof for ease of maintenance and cleaning, we decided to put them on the hill right up there where Bill. That's Bill from uh, our off-grid solar cabin. He's taking it upon himself to go up there and start cleaning off that spot. But we're going to put them uh, on the hill here because it's a good angle. It's always in the sun uh, through all the seasons. And uh, we're going to put some landscape timbers down and some weed mat. And we're going to mount our solar panels uh, to um, some angle irons. And then we're going to mount them onto the side of the hill. That way we can get up there and clean them off whenever we need to. Uh, so that's where we're going to put the, uh, the panels at. Uh, so we're going to just take it one step at a time. First is we're going to get that little area there cleaned off and uh, then we'll go to the next step. And uh, here in a little bit I'll take you over and, and show you the panels that I'm going to use and where I got them at and uh, so we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, these uh, panels that I got um, over the last, uh, well I've started at the beginning of last summer. And uh, like I say, the money that I've been saving on energy costs, whether it be cooking outside or using the smaller setup that we've got, the money that we're saving by uh, using the batteries from the wind turbine and the smaller solar panels is the money that I saved up to buy these solar panels. These are 120 watt Kia Sarah panels um, that were refurbished and uh, recycled from an old solar farm uh, somewhere out west. Um, and I bought them through a company called uh, Solar Boulevard. I tried to get with uh, Jeff from Missouri Missouri Wind and Solar to get some panels from him and he sent me to Solar Boulevard um, because they were they were uh, cheaper to get them through Solar Boulevard. And I'll leave a link uh, down in the, in the uh, about section to Solar Boulevard's uh, website where you can go and look at uh, the solar panels. Um, that's where I got these. They were really really um, cost efficient being uh, used panels but they still have about 10 years worth of uh, Kia Sera warranty on them so it's a great deal uh, like I said I'll leave a link down there thank you very much Jeff uh, for letting me know that this other company existed uh, why would Jeff who owns a solar panel company send me to another company because he's awesome that's why thanks again Jeff I really appreciate you helping me save up save some money on these panels so I got a total of six of them now uh, six of these, these uh, bigger panels. That's what we're going to be putting onto the hill over here. Uh, and like I said, I just wanted to let you guys know about where I got the panels and what they are. I'll let you see the sticker here on the back. With the specs on it. From what I can understand from talking with dudes who know a lot about them, which is uh, Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar, uh, you know, Norm McGregor, uh, Bill from our off-grid solar cabin and just in case uh, from what I can gather from talking to all them dudes who really know a lot about the solar stuff these are decent panels and uh, they should serve us pretty well so alrighty y'all we're going to uh, start getting them mounted and uh, we'll take it step by step and show you what we're doing alright guys um, I had already had some of this wired up and I'm going to show you Bill just told me that I had made a mistake in my wiring and I wanted to share you with you my mistake. You see there's two sets of screws on each one of these, right? On this top section here there's the blocking diodes which keeps the current from coming back through into the panel and only keeps it going one way. Well I had had mine wired up here where the diodes are and uh, that is incorrect. I need to put it down here on this bottom screw so this top screw can hold those dials in place and make sure that the diodes have a good connection. This is an incorrect wiring uh, on this panel. And plus, I didn't use any kind of ends. I just had them wrapped around, which is not very efficient at all. The correct way to wire them is like we wired this one here, which is on these bottom posts on the outside using these uh, the clamp-on ends, the crimp-on ends here. That way the diodes have got uh, good good connections on their bars because they're not glued in. They're just held in with these little bars here. So this is the correct way to wire it. We are going to wire these panels in parallel, not series, in parallel. Par parallel will keep them at 12 volt panels since I have a 12 volt system, which means we're going to wire this positive across to this positive, this negative 
across to this negative. That, this way they will stay a 12 volt system, but the amps that are created by both of the panels will travel on through, on through the wiring. We're going to wire four across the top and then two across the bottom. That way we have room up there on the hill there. We'll put four across the top and then two across the bottom here. And that'll leave me room to put two more up whenever I uh, get the resources together to get two more up. That'll give me eight of those panels up there wired in parallel. And once we get them all wired, then we'll run a main wire, a main positive wire, and a main ground wire from the whole array. So, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But this is the correct way to wire the panel if you're wiring it parallel to other panels. Just wanted to share my mistake with you. Alright, All right, so here's where we are so far. We got these uh, these panels put together on the little piece of angle iron. We've got this uh, landscape timber secured down to the ground with, uh, with rebar that we bent over. So here directly we're going to uh, uh, attach the top part of the landscape timber for, to secure the top part of the panels down. And uh, we've got these, like I say, wired in parallel. We've got two panels left that we're going to attach to the bottom part of this landscape timber and run down that way. That way this will give me two, uh, a section for two more panels. And we're going to wire them all in parallel here directly and uh, just wanted to give you a snippet. This is where we were updated at. We're probably just going to get these attached and secured to the ground this evening and then we'll call it a day and make up some supper and eat dinner and uh, then we'll finish it up tomorrow. So. Next time you see the video, we'll do a quick uh, clip when we get everything secured, and then we'll uh, pick it up again tomorrow. Alrighty, so there's four up and secured. Uh, tomorrow we will uh, put the other landscape timber down here and mount the other two panels underneath uh, these two, and then uh, hook those up in parallel and then run the uh, cable down. But we'll pick that up tomorrow. So. Uh, We'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. I know it looks like it's uneven, but remember it's on a hill. That hill's in the sunlight all the time. And uh, we're gonna keep it clear just right around the edges. But this is gonna be pretty well concealed as well. Uh, unless you know where to look and you happen to be standing right back here on the deck, you can't see it from the road and you can't even see it from the back porch area. So uh, I'm happy with it so far. All right, y'all, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, uh, we're back to work here on our solar system. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, I'm just using some of this uh, this angle iron here uh, that I got from Lowe's. And I was using these uh, bolt holes, these pre-drilled bolt holes to attach them, but I ran out of machine bolts. So now since these frames are just uh, you know light aluminum frames, I'm just going to use some of these uh, three-quarter inch self-tapping screws and run it down into the frame. Uh, be sure not to hit the back of the panel. Don't use real long ones so that you can bust this glass or anything out of, this, uh, out of the back of the panel. I'm just going to run these through and uh, secure that angle iron to the top of the panels and then we'll take this angle iron and uh, secure the angle iron to the landscape timbers that are driven into the ground with uh, rebar. So uh, that's how we're attaching our, uh, yeah, my poor greenhouse didn't make it through the winter storms. So that's how we're attaching them to the ground. Uh, there's going to be some people like, it's stupid, you're stupid, that's the wrong way. But uh, we're working with what we got. And, uh, you know, I put just about everything I had into getting these panels and the wires to hook everything up. And the, uh, the new charge controller, which I'll show you in a little bit. And uh, this is what we have, and it's going to work. Uh, those, th that rebar secures them, uh, them landscape timbers down on the side of the hill really, really well. So uh, I'm not worried about the wind getting in underneath them enough to, uh, to blow them away or lift them up. And there's still enough space. There's probably, I would say, close to three inches worth of gap underneath uh, where those panels are so the air can go through underneath and then keeps them cool whenever it's really, really hot. So anyway, just wanted to show you how we're attaching everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get them attached because I can't do it uh, one-handed. And I'll show you, but these are just self-tapping, three-quarter inch self-tapping screws that I'm attaching this angle iron with. Okay guys, there's our six panels um, that are now all hooked up. Uh, we ran, uh, we dug a trench through the yard here and run PVC pipe and uh, fed the, uh, the 10 gauge wire. I used two strands of 10 gauge wire and then uh, temporarily until I get some more PVC, I just ran the rest of the wire uh, through that garden hose there uh, that you see just to uh, keep the weather off of it and keep it out of sun and keep any kind of, uh, you know, uh, 
sun cracking and stuff like that from going on if it's out there for too long but that's uh like i said it's a temporary thing and then we run the wire under the deck into the battery box over here and we hooked up the new uh the tristar uh controller that's uh it is i have what i have that's what i have um i don't have a whole lot of money to spend on the system i'm doing the best that i can with what i have i did hook up uh, an amp meter so that i can see what kind of amps it's making uh there's the shunt so we run the the the, the power comes in to the shunt and then it goes you can see what the uh the panels are putting out and then the charge controller charges up the batteries I did not do a how-to wire because I'm not, uh, I'm not a, I'm just a dude, okay? This is just, this is all learning for me. Uh, I'm not going to, there's a bazillion videos on how to do it. So uh, this is just what we did and this is just the equipment that I'm using. But uh, the, the sun is not out right now at all. And uh, it looks like we're still getting a couple amps uh, of input on that. That other... This meter right here is for the wind turbine, but I dropped and broke the meter and it doesn't work, so I gotta get a replacement at some point. But there's the shunt for that meter. And I know there's gonna be a lot of dudes out there who's like, oh you're doing it, that's wrong, that's the worst setup ever. Well, you know what? If you think that I got the worst setup ever, then you pay and come out here and do it. <laughs> Other than that, don't give me a bunch of crap about it. I'm doing the best I can with what I have. So, and the wind turbine is spinning away and that is also making power. But we know that everything's feeding in feeding in like it should so uh hopefully now we're going to have uh, 720 watts worth of solar power coming in on good sunny days and even on days like today when it's uh, cloudy we've got the wind turbine going and there's still going to be a little bit of power made from those solar panels so that we can put even more stuff uh onto our inverter which is uh the inverter we drill the hole right through the wall and then uh through the back door here is where we got that's where we got our inverters at so Hopefully now we can run more stuff off of the inverter. The wind is kicked up, y'all. Making some power with the turbine, that's for sure. All right, man. Uh, there you go. There's my updated solar system. I will uh, put a link to where I got my panels in the description box for Solar Boulevard. They're a great company. They're very helpful. So uh, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless. The end. Buzz, buzz. The end.